Alrighty, so let's plot our points first. So 3, negative 2. Remember, it's always x comma y. So we find 3 on the x-axis, negative 2 on the y-axis. Where the two dots meet is going to be our a. 3 on the x-axis, 2 on the y-axis. Where that meets is going to be our b. Negative 3 on the x-axis, positive 2 on the y-axis is going to be our C, and negative 3, negative 2 is going to be our D. Now, we have not done one like this where it's going to end up kind of within each other, and that is A-okay, A-okay. But with this one, I kind of do want to chit-chat about <coughs> one thing after we rotate it. So, let's get our rotation down. Get our y and x axis traced. And then let's get our rectangle traced. A, B, C, and B. Nice special color. Oh, I got a blue. All right. So we are going to rotate this 90 degrees positively, which means we are going to go counterclockwise one time. Counterclockwise one time. So we now have A up here at 2, 3. We now have A prime at 2, 3. We now have B prime at negative 2, positive 3. We have C prime at negative 2, negative 3. And A prime, or I'm sorry, D prime is at 2, negative 3. So... This is B prime, C prime, and D prime. So some of you, this is going to be way over your head, but for some of you, this is going to be something that's good to know. Notice how when I move it one time right, my X and my Ys are kind of flipping, right? the three and the two, the three and the two, they flipped positions. And then if you remember the different points and the negatives and positives where they go, that's kind of helpful. So same thing with this one down here, right? When I went two turns, my X and my Y actually ended up in the same position. So every time you turn, the X and the Y switch positions. So again, some of you are going to be like, what the heck are you saying, Mr. Sherman? And that's fine. Just leave it. Just keep doing what you're doing. Some of you, that's going to make sense. And so you can use that. All right. What I want you to do is try number four on your own. Try number four on your own. Welcome back. We should have done the X and the Y. Had our RIT. 270 degrees positive means that, oh Lord, that's bad. We did it counterclockwise, one, two, and three, meaning our T is now at three, two. Ooh, it's hard to see that in it. Our I or J or L, whatever that is, is at six, two. And then R is up top at 4, 4. And that's what you should have. Okay. So our goal today is to work on an IXL for this. Great job.